His defense and rebound is the last category. Brick wall based off strictly um, strength. Okay, 99 strength for Hall of Fame, 90 for gold. Anchor, minimal height is six foot seven. You heard that. The minimum height for anchor is six foot seven. Let me make sure. Yeah, six foot seven. So if you are six foot six, you can't get anchor. So get that out your head. A lot of people, uh, they probably want that anchor bad. So this is for my lockdowns out there. If you really want to get that anchor, man, you have to go six foot seven. So you have to pay attention to these heights, man. They may be good for you because of what you can get. So if you want to make a lockdown, six foot seven will not be a bad way to go. This is based off interior defense and block rating. Okay, this is anchor. So 99 block. Anchor, interior defense and block. Pay attention to the and on all of these categories. And this next one, man, chase down artists. <laughs> That's crazy. 85 interior for Hall of Fame, 92 block, uh, 77 interior for gold, so on and so forth. Chase down, minimum height is six foot three. Hall of Fame, you need 94 block. And 71 speed and 83 vertical. So pay attention. It said for a chase down artist, the minimum height is six foot three, which that's not tall at all. Um, you know. So for let's just go to gold, for instance. Gold, you need a block rating of a 87 and speed and vertical. If you think about it now, when you chasing down somebody like a chase down block, you need the speed to catch up with them, right? It's not just on the badge this year. You need the attributes to go with it. So you need the speed to actually catch up with the person. You need the block rating to actually block the shot. And you need the vertical to actually get up and block the shot. So that's very, very important this year. A lot of these attributes are tied to these badges and they mean a whole lot. So if you don't have the proper things on your bill, you will not get the proper badges. That makes sense. And I've been saying that for a long time and 2K is finally doing it with this right here, okay? For chase down artists this year, you need three different categories. You need block, speed, and vertical. And you gotta be over at least six foot three. Okay, as you see it trickle down to gold, silver, bronze. Post, uh, post lockdown, minimum height is six foot six, and this is based off interior defense and strength. Post lockdown, based off interior defense and strength. It's a lot of ands in these categories, man, so you have to pay attention to this. If I were you, I would take this screenshot and just print, I mean, this, um, this thing right here and, and print it out. Well, not print it out, but I would screenshot it with my phone, and then when I go to make my bill, I will pull it up depending on what category I'm in. I'm on the defense, so if you're on the defensive category, you can go ahead and pull this up, and you will have um, uh, uh, like a shortcut to making a good bill. Ankle braces, strictly off perimeter defense. Ankle braces a badge we really don't talk about too much. Um, 23, it wasn't, it wasn't all that, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people may not use that bad, but you have to think about this. A lot of badges that didn't work in 23, they may work in 24. So don't just be saying, oh, well, the badge didn't work in 23, so it ain't going to work in 24. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying in 23, it didn't work, but they may work in 24. Challenger, strictly perimeter defense, clamps. For clamps this year, it's not just perimeter. It's perimeter and strength. Now, the strength... <laughs> Did y'all hear that now? Clamps is perimeter defense and strength. Come on now. They putting their strength. The strength is important, man. I don't care what nobody say. They let you know that it's important with the way that they add it to these categories. So if you want certain badges, man, you have to have that strength, man. Okay? Strength is going to be very important. And a lot of people, they're going to make their bill. They're not going to add strength saying, oh, strength ain't important. Yes, it is. That's, that's showing you strength is important right there. Anytime you look at these categories and you see strength added to some of these badges, then they let you know that it is very important. So don't sleep on the fact that you need strength. I'm not saying go out there and, and, and do a 90-something strength. No, I'm not saying that. But I am saying you need some strength on these bills to go out there and compete because everybody else is going to have it. You're going to be the main one without strength and you're going to be small? That don't make no sense to me. Is 99 perimeter and 60 strength, 90 for gold, 93, 55, 
silver 85.50 and bronze 75.45. So you do have to invest some into strength to be able to get clamps and obviously clamps helps with bump animation so it does make sense that you would need at least some strength. Bass feet is... Okay, so with the clamps, it's not, like he said, it's not high strength, but you need some, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it don't have to be super high or whatever. And uh, when I be talking to like my glass down like this here, like a granddad, what y'all think? Leave him like that. 50, 750. Leave him like this, man, 750. And we ain't gonna do that, we ain't gonna do it. We gonna try to leave him, I need to hold my head up more like this. Head up high so I can talk to y'all, man, like this stiff neck, stiff neck. <laughs> But uh, yeah, with the with the um, clamps, man, make sure you have that perimeter defense and make sure you have that strength. Defending badge that helps you slide your feet laterally quicker. I talked to Wolf, who worked tirelessly on the builder and on 2K24. And he talked about this badge a lot and how he thinks it's going to be a, a a good badge for lockdowns. Maximum height is six. What? Oh, he talking about uh, fast feet. He talking about the fast feet badge now, so that's perimeter defense and acceleration. Like, come on now. Two things tied into one badge. You got to have it, man. You got to have it. Nine. To unlock it, you need oh, max height six foot nine, too. That's something to look at. Now, when you create these builds, I looked at this uh, last night on the live, and I was really paying attention to it because I seen the screenshot, but I didn't really pay attention to it. So when I looked at the screenshot last night, man, I was noticing that Six foot ten may be a great height for those power fours and centers out there, man, because a lot of categories they cap out at six ten. You know what I'm saying? Like six ten is the max height. So that's something to look at when you're going through these screenshots or whatnot that you see on the internet. Perimeter defense and acceleration. So like last year I seen people on Twitter talking about this too. Last year lock up Hold on, my bad. Let me turn that down. But yeah, man, um, you gotta you you gotta um pay attention to this stuff. Let's see, let's get back. That was an ad right there. Would go high speed and low excel because excel didn't affect how they slid their feet ladder slid how they slid their feet ladder how they slide their feet laterally. I don't know the right way to say it. Excel didn't affect how they slid their feet and excel didn't affect how fast they ran. So there was no reason for them to have excel. But now obviously if fast feet turns out to be a good badge, you need acceleration in order to unlock the badge at any level but you definitely need higher acceleration to unlock the badge at higher levels <laughs> that make a lot of sense man you heard what he said you're gonna need what um for the lockdowns out there that won't go um fast feet you need a 77 acceleration that's that's pretty high you know what i'm saying and to get it on hall of fame that's 82 well i don't say that's high 77 ain't that high for acceleration but um good thing about it you don't need uh 90, 99 perimeter defense to get it on Hall of Fame, so that's a good thing, you know, so. So, it's almost like one of those things where even if acceleration doesn't affect how you run up and down the court, which Wolf said it doesn't, said it's just like 23, and he also said except Pay attention. He said it's just like 23. Acceleration don't uh, determine how fast you run up and down the court. So, that's something to think about when you are uh, playing the game and when you're in the building. Acceleration doesn't affect how you start. But, as you can see, you need it. What acceleration does affect is your ability to unlock fast feet. Yeah. And fast feet affects your lateral quickness. So even though the rating doesn't necessarily affect the way your player moves laterally, you gotta get that badge. it affects if you're able to unlock the badge. And the mm -hmm. badge affects how you slide your feet laterally right. and change direction when you're, when you're in your defensive stance. So that's kind of like, I don't want to call it a safety net, but something that they did to make every attribute matter even when, in terms of game movement, it doesn't affect how you move, but it affects you getting a the badge. badge that affects and that's how you move. Hey, man, that's some free game for you right there, man. If you don't remember nothing he said, he said exactly what I was thinking, okay? Yes, you may not think it is going to affect certain things, but you have to have this stuff to get the badge. And if you don't get the badge, guess what? You're not going to get the movement. It's simple as that, man. Simple as that. I just said a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe you need to rewind that, but I think it made sense. <laughs> I feel like it made sense if you listen to that whole speed. All right? Off-ball pest is strictly perimeter defense. Pick dodger. Max height is 6'10", strictly perimeter defense. Glove. Max height, 7 feet. And it's 
strictly based off of steel. 99 steals for Hall of Fame, 91 for gold, 80. Okay, glove. Now, I looked at this last night um, on the live. I wouldn't mean it to, but, hey, we did it. So, the max height is 7 foot tall. So, now with glove, I'm looking at gold if you're going to be a lockdown. So, you need a steal of a 91, I think. Yeah, 91. So, 91 is pretty good, in my opinion. And if you look at interceptor, that same 91 steal will get you gold interceptor, all right? But you got to go down a little bit more. I'm going to show you that in a second. Silver and 72 for bronze. So, they lowered the uh, gold threshold. Last year. As you can see, they, like he said, they lowered the gold threshold. So you need a 91 um, steal for interceptor. And you need a, a 80. I mean, you hold on. You need a 91 steal for glove. You need an 89 steal for uh, interceptor. And you need a 90 steal for right uh, stick ripper. Okay, so that, that same 91 steal will get you all of that. Okay, that, it will get you all of that. So that's what I was looking at. So make sure you're paying attention to stuff like that. So if you take it to a 91, you should be good on all three of those bats. 95, now it's 91. Uh, I think silver was 85 last year. They yeah, it was 85. Was last year. But yeah, they lowered gold for sure. Uh, Hall of Fame is still 99. Interceptor, 95 steal for Hall of Fame. I think last year it was 99. And then gold last year was 90, now it's 89. All right, so 95, 89, 81, 60, respectively, from Hall of Fame to bronze. Right stick ripper, this is a new badge. Max height, 7 feet. 96 for Hall of Fame, 90 for gold. 96 Hall of Fame for, uh, 96 steel for uh, a right stick ripper, too. So that's not too bad. Then you got immovable uh, enforcer, which is going to be like an interior badge. So you got to have high strength, well, super high strength to get that. That's the one where you use the right stick and you flick it in the right direction. It helps you get either Man, it'd be um, long here. glove steals or if you flick it for a lane, interceptor steals. Immovable Enforcer. Me uh, minimum height is 6'5". This is a badge that Wolf explained to me. Basically, it's a badge that will help you win those body up animations, not only on the perimeter, but also in, in the, the paint. paint. Okay, yeah. so it's in I'm going to be interested to see how this works out in terms of how lockdowns play and stuff like that. But... It's based off of strength, strictly off of strength, a, a, a defensive badge that helps you on the... Man, listen, man. That strength important. As you can see, you need a 90 strength to get that Im immovable enforcer on goal. That's a lot. And the paint, basically, 100% uh, based off of strength, okay? Immovable enforcer. Basically a counter to all those new, big, power playmaking badges that we saw earlier. 94 feet max height is six foot eight, and it's based off perimeter defense and stamina. 94 feet. A lot of people are going to want that badge, man. That's a very popular badge right now. I posted a video on TikTok, man. It got like almost 300,000 plays because I posted that badge, and everybody is looking forward to that badge. So as you can see, the requirements are you have to have a max height of six foot eight. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, you need perimeter defense and stamina. So to get it on gold, that's what I've been looking at, a lot of gold stats. You need an 88 perimeter defense and a 95 stamina. 95 stamina, dog. Or oh, stamina. Pogo <laughs> stick, minimum height is 6 foot 4. Pogo is based off of vertical and either block, O-board, or D-board. You see the range right here for Hall of Fame. You need 83 vertical and either 97 block. Pogo is no longer um, the rebounding. You know what I'm saying? It's the vertical, too. You got the vertical, the block, and the rebound. Well, vertical and either block or rebound. Okay, so either or on that, but you still need that vert, though. Have an old board, 97 feet. Workhorse. Even something as simple as workhorse. This year, you need stamina and in either interior defense or perimeter defense. Just think about this. This makes sense for uh for workhorse. You need you need stamina. And interior defense or perimeter defense, but stamina is the key. Think about it. Hall of Fame, you need a 99 stamina and either 93 interior or 94 perimeter. Like that's pretty expensive for a badge like Workhorse. You know what I mean? I forget what Workhorse was tied to last year. I think I don't even remember. I think it might have been spent interior, and I think it was pretty cheap. I could yeah, be 100 wrong. I'm well, not sure about cheap. Workhorse. Yeah, no, I'm a scorer. I don't. I'm not making a lot. Um. <clears throat> last but not least, the two last badges, rebounding badges, box out beast, minimum height six foot three. Box, box out beast, man. We need strength, 
and either offensive or defensive rebound to get box out beats, which makes sense. But in order to get it on goal, man, y'all got to pay attention to that the centers out there. Just pay attention to that. This year is based off strength and either O board or D board. You see for Hall of Fame, you need 90 strength and either 93 O board, 93 D board. And last but not least, we have rebound chaser based off of strictly O board or defensive rebound. 99 for Hall of Fame, 92 for gold, 83 for silver, and 60 for bronze. If you haven't. That's pretty much it right there, man. Uh, I appreciate y'all stopping by. I'm going to do some more reviews like this. Let me know if you like the reviews, and we're going to get on up out of here.